Where are we going? We are off to Parachute Montreal. Step one of the PFF course. Okay. <laughs> are we gonna jump today? We are going to jump many times today. <laughs> I think uh, at least four, maybe six. How do you feel? I feel good so far, but the closer we get, the more nervous I'm going to be. <laughs> so we should get going and uh, we're going to have a great day. It's pretty sunny out there and, uh, you know, you know, we're going to have enough time to relax and got it all in my head for at least the first jump. That's the most important. Woohoo! <laughs> we are. I'm Rob. I'm Sarah. And we are in, in Parachute Montreal. And we're waiting for the instructors to show up to do step one of solo parachuting. Progressive freefall or PFF. I'm going to get suited up so I'll have a jumpsuit on. They'll give me my parachute. I will go through some of the checks. Then I'll put the parachute on. I'll probably have some reviews with the instructors. First in line to go up, so no, <laughs> no waiting. We're gonna get right on the plane and uh, do the first jump, which is with two instructors. So one on each arm and leg, one on your right, one on your left. We're gonna be practicing mostly exiting the airplane and being stable, pulling the pilot chute, which deploys the main chute, just practicing the movement, mm -hmm. to keep yourself stable while you're doing it. Then when the parachute deploys, I'll have a radio with me. There'll be somebody on the ground. Which is amazing because there's someone telling you what to do, right? That's right. So I think the hardest part will be trying to figure out which direction you need to be to land in the drop zone. Since it's the first time that I've been at this drop zone, I don't know what it looks like from above. And when you exit the plane, you're not sure if you're facing north, south, east, west, whether you should be turning left or right to get back to the area. And how long is this? I think it's gonna be a, like three or four minutes at that, at that level. Um, so not too long, and then once you get to 900 feet, then things happen fairly quickly because you go 900 to 600 to 300 to 10, and then you're on the ground. It's a perfect day. It's a perfect day. It's sunny, but it's not too hot. It's a perfect place as well because there's only fields around. There's a road there, actually. I'm really concerned about the road. <laughs> okay. Don't go to the Don't road. Don't go to the road. Go to the fields and no picnic tables please. No picnic tables, no fields, no buildings, <laughs> no roads, no airplanes, no fences. There's a lot of things. We just aim for the grass. I think uh, because the wind is not very strong and the chances of not landing where you're supposed to land when it's like this are very rare. And we're almost ready to go. And how do you feel? So far I'm pretty calm. Um, I'm not. Yes, I'm not. So. I'm not. I'm really nervous actually. I'm, I'm not jumping. I'm not jumping. I'm here like just <laughs> making the movies, but I'm terrified. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm calm until probably the point that I get on the plane and the planes, the engines start and we make our turn. Uh, I think you'll do it so many times that you'll never come down from the adrenaline rush before you get on the plane the next time. Oh, I really want to know that because I think maybe after the first jump you feel a little bit more confident. So the second jump it's not so terrifying anymore. That's usually the way it works with me, but I think just jumping out of a plane is always going to be terrifying. I think the other parts become more comfortable and you can maybe enjoy the view a little bit more. Uh, but this isn't about sightseeing, this is about learning how to do it safely and how to do it properly and then we're going to go from there. So when you start, it goes all the way around to here and then it starts to go all the way back down. So I'm wearing this weight belt which uh, the instructors are a little bit heavier than me so we all have to fall at the same rate. If they're heavier, they're going to fall faster, so I wear this one to catch up to them.
I'm out of breath. <laughs> ah, Tell me. I made it. Woohoo! <laughs> Things happen fast. How's uh, that? It was it was good. Like the free fall was very fast. We got everything done. Crash landed a little bit, but I can fix that on the next one. <laughs> and I also think I'm carrying the parachute wrong, but I'll try to fix that the next time too. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go dump this on the inside. I don't know what's coming up next. Um, that was the first one. Whew. It was uh, definitely exhilarating and crazy to land a parachute by yourself. It's my crash landing. How did you land? Uh, I should have pushed all the way down and I only kind of pushed it here. So I hit a little bit harder, which makes you uh, whoosh. But next time I fix that, now that I understand how it works the next, the next time. You really got to go all the way down. Got everything on. It'll be different this one. I'm already less less nervous. Less nervous. Yes. Let's get. I feel calmer already. Do you have a radio? My radio works. We've already checked it on the inside. And now we're ready to go again. Successful landing in the soybean field. <laughs> really far away, but landed and did not fall down. So that was awesome. Now we'll go in again, watch the video, see how I did. 
what improvements I can make for the next one. What is was hard today? Uh, hard today was uh, I was flying by myself, so the instructor wasn't holding me, and a little bit of confusion when he wanted me to pull the chute. I didn't think we were low enough yet, so we'll figure that out inside. So we're all done for the, for the day. We did three jumps. Um, according to the instructor, that's a lot for day one. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> a lot of uh, stress on your body and a lot of stress on your hair. <laughs> More than your body, I think. Um, so we're just waiting and now the instructor is going to do a tandem jump with somebody else. Then he comes back and we review his videotape. We'll talk about what went right, what uh, didn't uh, go so well. There was really just some confusion around what time to pull. So uh, usually you look at your altimeter at 6,000 uh, feet and then you keep watching it for 500 feet until it gets to 5,500. When it gets to 5,500, you pull. I was looking at it at 6,000 and he was telling me to pull already, so I pulled. Um, but it seemed to be we were maybe a little bit off in terms of either I wasn't seeing what I thought I was seeing or he was seeing something different or maybe the conditions changed somehow. I, I don't know, so we'll discuss that. I landed not in a designated landing zone, um, but I'm listening to the radio. So he's kind of telling me, turn left, turn right, okay, stay on that heading, turn around. And uh, I landed beside another skydiver who also landed in the soybean field instead of on the, on the grass. And how's that? There it was actually a little bit soy? softer. They're like, they're soybean plants. So they come up to about your knees. When I talked with the guy on the way back who also landed in the soy field, it was his 19th jump. Maybe, you know, I was uh, landing in a pattern where the wind was not as strong and then the wind picked up a little bit and now I'm not going to be able to make it all the way to, to the spot that we, where you need to land. The chances of not landing where you're supposed to land when it's like this are very rare. Wherever you are, you're going to continue to go down. You can't, uh, at this point, you can't really glide along the top. You just continue to land wherever you are. In this particular case, it was in the soybean field. Oh, but it was the only one from the tree. All the two others, you were here in the field. Yes, that's right. I was in the right field. <laughs> so we finish at three because uh, um, it's a lot for the first day and a lot of mental, a lot of physical. So we're gonna go and relax a little bit. It's about an hour drive back downtown. There's no jumping tomorrow. So tomorrow uh, will be a spa day. <laughs> so, day off. <laughs> day off. We'll relax and I'll have a chance to think about all of the stuff that I learned, uh, the problems that I might need to fix. This time I concentrated more on my legs and my feet. So I felt like my legs were in a better position this time. And how's the view? Uh, this time I actually went through the cloud. Like, oh. I definitely went through the clouds for Is the it first... Wet? Uh, it, <laughs> it wasn't wet, but it was dark and foggy for about the first 15 or 20 seconds. And then um, we went through the cloud and then it got clear again. But that time I, I definitely went through a big dark cloud. It was good, it was, it was good. I felt uh, a little bit better about it. We'll see what the instructor says though, because he's the authority on whether I progress to the next level or not. It was three jumps to now. The fourth one is already a next step, right? The next step. So uh, after we complete the log book, I'll go to the front desk uh, book for Thursday. Uh, hopefully Thursday's another nice day like this. I'll do uh, a few more on that day. It looks like it'll wind up taking about three days total. Talk about the tornado. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, it's a nice weather, but there is a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we get all geared up. I get my parachute on. We do all of the checks and the procedures. We go to the plane landing area. A giant cloud comes. It starts to rain. We all go back, we take off all of our equipment because we need to let this uh, thunderstorm or the storm pass by. So we're sitting on the patio outside right where we're sitting and one of the instructors looks up at the sky and he sees rotations in the clouds. 
right here. Yes, behind right behind here. us. <laughs> in the over, over the cornfield just behind us. And when we went over to look, the clouds were rotating and then spiraling down towards the ground. Oh, that's rad. That was a lot bigger than that. So that's a little lower before. What? And it lasted, what, maybe a minute, a minute and a half, two minutes long. And as soon as it was over, they, they announced, okay, everybody get your parachutes back on, you're going back on the plane. I was here freaking out, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it's totally crazy. It, you know, I, first of all, it was stressful to be, you know, when you're ready to go, and then to have to take your parachute off again, and then bring yourself, calm yourself back down, and then you add a tornado happening a few uh, miles away, a few kilometers away from you. What an experience for for jump number three. <laughs> Yeah, but first day of your jumping solo, right? So yes, uh, you know, you, you don't have the experience and obviously a tornado is not something you see all of the time. Luckily it didn't touch the ground, it stayed up in the sky and then disappeared, but for a minute it was, you know, slowly spiraling itself towards the ground. Mm -hmm. So we go we go back in, we'll review, and then we, uh, we call it a day. Yeah, that's it. We'll both uh, have time for a rest. You from being stressful watching, yep. me from being stressful actually doing it, but surprisingly probably not that much difference in stress. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And we'll be back on Thursday. Thursday.